Yeah, so I'll start by introducing myself. And as you see there, I'm a global translation editor. It's called JTE short for Global Translation Editor. My colleague here, uh, Kafia, talked to you about various roles that are in WordPress. In case you are out there and you feel like you need to contribute to the community, there are various ways that you can get involved in. Uh, me, here together with us at Assyria, we contribute to WordPress, we translate WordPress into Uganda and they call the simple global translation editors for uh, polyglots. In case you want to uh, become a polyglot, others will talk about that more. In the few steps you can become a part of it, you contribute to the WordPress community. So going further, uh, we look at, we do, and we're not looking at only a site, we're also looking at products. For example, if uh, you're going to purchase a product, how does that person who makes the product ensure that someone can come and reuse that product again. They have to make sure that they understand your requirements, the user's requirements. So as we are designing our site for our products, we have to put ourselves in the user's shoes. And uh, we, we look at it in the perspective that I am the person who is going to use this product. How will I feel if I'm using this product? Will, will I be comfortable using it? Am I secure when I use this product? These are all, all the things that you have to keep in mind while uh, using any product. Um, most of the times when you go to the site and you find that it's very, very beautiful, it has good visual effects, chances are high that it's not usable. At some point, it has broken links and, and all, all that. Uh, so, all designers have to have it in mind that if I have a pattern, for example, on my site, what does that pattern do? Those what we call call to action buttons. Uh, if someone clicks on that button, will it take them to a link which is not secure? Or all other things. So I'll talk to you guys about the empathy and uh, and sympathy. For example, if if uh, I'm walking and for example I forgot to type my buttons, and someone just looks at me and says sorry, that's sympathy. But it won't help me because I'll still go looking miserable the way I am. But if someone else looked at me and stopped me and told me that you need to do what? You need to tie your buttons. It helps. So in that in that same way, if I have a problem on my site, I have to make sure that I get ways of creating and getting feedback from what? From users, the people who are going to, to use uh, that site. So we have to look at feedback and uh, usability while we are designing our, our sites and have this all in mind. So, uh, to move on, this, uh, like the craft experience will send you, will send you something. Just uh, imagine if I'm told to access this area, we had to jump from a place that there, there is like an opening and closing. How many people would go out and come back here? It would be a few people. But because there is a possibility of opening and then uh, you move inside, which makes it accessible enough. There is a wheelchair accessibility to this place, so even if someone is uh, disabled, they can still access this place. So these are all the concepts that we have to um, have in mind. Because at the end of the day, any product, for example, this building that we are in, if the designer decided to put this floating uh, restaurant here without that access point, it would be useless, because no one would be able to access this place. It's the same thing that um, if you're designing a site, you have to have uh, usability in mind, uh, you have to have feedback in mind, and you have to uh, make sure that the person visiting your site does not get a very bad experience. Now, uh, we all know Gigi, right? Yeah, we know Gigi, and um, just take an example, if someone went to Jumia to buy something at the phone, Jumia looking like this, where you have shoes and, and things which are not organized. You, you actually feel bad, right? You would feel scared because there's no trust. Uh, there's no trust. It lacks trust, it lacks usability, and you wouldn't try to navigate. The uh, surprising thing is that this site is still active, even up now. The, the users still live it this way. But first time based on this site, I had a bad experience, and I tried to use it as an example here. Yeah. So if you look at this site, it lacks. Clarity, it lacks usability, accessibility design, it lacks a good design and good user experience. Now, there's a speaker who was here earlier on and he talked about um, 
when you're designing or when you're developing any software or product, we are actually solving a problem. That's it. If you are going to design a site, it's better to talk to your client, understand the problem, and then you write down the requirements, and you come and solve that problem that you are having. Not solving anything. Chances are high, uh, after one year, you're going to tell your hosting provider that I, I no longer need, I'm not going to renew it. Why? Because all along the they didn't give the, what you actually wanted it to do. So the also other, the other thing that you can do is you can use A-B testing, whereby you look at a similar site. For example, if I wanted to do an art and craft show online, if you try to look at Serena's store and see how she did it and what can I try to uh, bring so that I can bring out that look and feel and experience where someone comes and some get uh, leads at the end of the day. So um, uh, that's uh, there's, an, there's a story, I don't know whether you've ever heard of air breakfast. Yeah. So uh, as we know, most of us speakers here have come from outside the country and uh, some of them are staying in hotels and others are stay, staying in their bed and breakfast. Uh, these are uh, like rented homes. Initially, they started as rented homes whereby like in case you have your, your house with a big space, you can rent it out to someone who is probably in your city, they sleep inside and then they pay you. So you pay for sharing your space. So when it started back in 2019, their site, uh, like this in 2019 when it was just starting but still this site had usability because someone could come sign in uh, enter their details and pick uh, the rooms that are work that are listed in there but then it was not performing well and then uh, the two owners of this uh, of this site the good thing they were actually they had the idea because they used to travel a lot and so they needed places to live in, so that's how they came up with this idea. But after some point, they realized that why they are not making more profits with their site is because of the bad design, how this uh, site is. They could actually uh, invest more money in Google Ads and uh, SEO to make more people come to the site. But still, even if you do SEO and you do Google Ads to any product, that is not good. At some point, your clients will go away. So what they decided to do is to go back and sit down, understand the problem, and their problem was a uh, lack of good design. They had very, very bad uh, images. You've seen clients who tell us that I need a site, but um, you can take pictures using your phone. Most of the time, you don't get good resolutions. It's better to go and hire a photographer. They come take those photos, and then uh, you go and use clear images on your site. They will pull people, and people will get trust if they see a picture that looks clear and they come to your site and find that exact picture. So what they did, they went back and redesigned their site. How many of you would, wouldn't like to go to any of those places? I know, uh, yeah, so sometimes you look at this and you just say, let me just go to that city and then I stay in one of those rooms because it looks really, really well. So it pulls people back because of how uh, how they design this uh, this site very well. Uh, basically, um, some people when they look at uh, all here, people talk about design, they think visual effects only, but it's more than that. At some point, we've had experiences where a client reaches to us through our site to encounter them, but when we call them back, to ask them go to follow up on uh, the request to design their sites, they turn down. Why do they do that? Because the person who is calling follow up, the language they are using is not good. And if someone called you without introducing themselves and they I, you see past few information they are going to design for your site and the amount is this, without introducing themselves, you fear because you don't know who is talking to you, where they got the information from. So it cuts across after designing who is going to engage your customers at what point, at what time, which number they use to communicate to your clients while they are getting their products. These are things that it all have into consideration. So um, we've looked at, we've heard of something called uh, human-centered design, where we say that we put users 
more humans. Because in this era that we are going in, now users are going beyond uh, just humans, because we have now AI, and they are also under the category of users. So we have to actually put ourselves and look at HC, uh, HCD, so that we look at users as, as humans. As, and, and then when we are developing products, we don't go products to be used by AI or, or what, we develop them to be used by humans. So imagine you are the person who is using that product. How would you feel? So in conclusion, uh, design for conversion, again, is more about, so it's more about uh, getting people to take actions. Creating positive user experience, building relationship with your visitors, and putting people first. And uh, anyone can do this. Just make sure that uh, you have your products, you have your clean products, and even while you have your products, try to understand the users, try to understand who you're designing your products for, and also try to imagine you're the person using that product and how would you feel. And that's it. Thank you so much. In case you have any questions, you can please, I think you can ask. Thank you so much, I think that's all.